Okay, so about a year ago, I did a video about mycelium farming and the place that the best place to do it. Since then, uh, they've been, they fixed the snail bed, so I'm a bit late to it. They've one and they've done a bunch of stuff that basically helps it, um, but like it hasn't changed that much. I'm still here gonna do it because my old video was absolutely shit. I mean, take a look at this. Like there are frames that are held for several seconds before it changes again. It absolutely sucks, so I'm redoing it. I, I don't even know how, but this is the most viewed video on my channel, according to about like 40% of my total views. I don't even know how that happened. I just wanted to be better going. I don't want my most viewed, viewed video to be a laggy piece of shit. Three things you need, pet, shovel, armor. Shovel, you just need to be able to insta mine it. Diamond shovel with efficiency five is good enough. The pet has to be snail. Snail pets have a perk where they convert a certain amount of speed into fortune for specific types of blocks. One of these blocks is mycelium. And then there's the armor. What you need to focus on is getting as much speed as possible. You can use 3 fourths max armor and uh, light and nitrous boots and then upgrade your, your farm into as high as you can. But if you're too poor for that, you can go for the young dragon armor. The reforges does have to be light since it gives the most speed out of any enchantment. But yes, you do want to max your speed as much as possible. It doesn't matter if you go over the limit since it because the this, this speed cap will be 100. You just need to get as much speed as you possibly can. And there's also a bunch of speed you'd need from other stuff, as, such as from god parts, from accessories. Just just get as much just get as much stuff as you can. Like you can you can use this um a uh, spooky cupcake with your, as a pet item for your snail. It gives you plus 20 speed. And right now my, my the highest speed I can get is 675. If you really want to max out your speed, you can recom and 5 star your max's armor for plus 3 speed on each item and a plus 1 for the reforge. Next, you'd want a location to, to be farming in. Ideally, you'd have you'd have 3 components you'd, that you want. 1. It's flat. You don't need to jump anywhere because jumping's downtime. 2. You don't have a lot of clay veins taking up a good, a good amount of its space. 3. It's secluded, meaning mobs won't try to attack you and players won't try to take your spot. Now, in order to fit all three of these criteria, there are certain places that are off limits, including the Mystic March, where there are cows that can and will kill you. Basically, anywhere on the edge is 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 fine. It's there are large flat areas, but in my opinion, the area behind the cathedral is the best is the best area. It's large, it's flat, and there are barely any players that know it until people watch this video, and, and then you have to go back to the more contested public spots. But it's fine. You only spend twenty five million coins on a setup that you're probably only going to use once and then never again after you've uh, completed the entire mycelium collection. Or you could just use minions. Now I understand trying to get, uh, in order to unlock a mycelium minions, you need re mage reputation. And that's just really hard to do because you need 12,000 to completely max a mycelium minion. But uh, that's fine. I mean, what, what, what are the things like Skyblock players wouldn't do? That's about it. See ya.